friends, I have another ocean book for us. This one is about the blobfish. It's not just about the blobfish though. It's also about some other sea creatures. The way this book is made, it's like the blobfish has taken over a book about the deep sea. It says, a book all about me. Now, this little guy looks kind of cute, but I will put a picture of a real blobfish at the end of this video. And let me tell you, it's not very cute, but I'll put that at the end. So the deep sea book, no, he marked it out. Blobfish, learn more about me. This way to blob, blobfish. Blobfish are really fun. Hi, I'm a blobfish. The zones of the ocean. These are 700 feet, 3,000, 13,000, and 20,000. They obviously gets deeper as it goes. The deepest parts of the ocean are too far for any sunlight to reach. The deep water is too heavy for humans, which makes it difficult to explore. I live way down there in the deep, deep part. So blobfishes are down here. Scientists study sea life miles beneath the surface of the ocean. Submersibles are underwater vehicles used to explore the deep sea. Hi there. Um, do you know if there are going to be any blobfish in this book? The viperfish has such big teeth it can't close its mouth. So bored. Still no blobfish. Some fish have very large eyes to help them see in the dark. Other fish can't see at all and rely on other senses such as touch and smell to guide them. What about blobfish? Do I have big eyes? Many deep sea animals glow in the dark. This is called bioluminescence. Kind of like how lightning bugs light up. Some of these animals glow in the dark in the water. This jellyfish lights up to attract food in the dark water. Wow, so pretty. Can I pet you? This jewel squid got its name from the photophores all over its body that make it shimmer and sparkle underwater. Look at me, blobfish can be fancy too. The angler fish has a long fin like a fishing line on its face with a light on the end to attract other fish. You know what this book needs. More blobfish, we want blobfish. <gasps> There's the real picture. The blobfish has a very soft body that helps it float in the deep water. The blobfish was once voted the world's ugliest animal. It's me, look everyone, it says blobfish. Wait, what? Lenny fish come in all different colors and some people even have them as pets. Ugliest animal? Wow! Snorfle, snorfle. Hey, blobfish, why are you crying? The giant spider crab can grow to be 12 feet long from claw to very strong claw. That's the same size as a small car. Everyone thinks I'm ugly. I know how you feel. Everyone thinks I'm scary, but I'm really small and nice. It's just because people don't understand you. The northern stoplight loose jaw can unhinge the bottom of its mouth to take bigger bites. These animals all coexist deep in the ocean where no plants or sunshine are found. We deep sea animals have to stick together. We did something to make you feel better. I did the writing and I drew the pictures. Go on blobfish, turn the page. Blobfish has very squishy blubber that helps him float. Nice eyes, cute nose. He has a lumpy nose shape that isn't so big underwater. Blobfish has very nice eyes and everyone likes him a lot. The end. 
So his friends use lots of kind adjectives to describe him. He's squishy, he has nice eyes, a cute nose, it's lumpy. So they made him something sweet because he was feeling a little down about himself. So I just thought that was a fun book. Like I said, I will post an actual picture that's not cut off from the middle of the page so you can see a real live blobfish picture. This is what the blobfish looks like when it's still underwater in its natural habitat. And this is what it looks like when it's out of the water. It looks like a blob, hence the name.